you have just received word your local club is going to meet online using Zoom. Your first response, but I don't know what to do. It's too hard. I can't do it. Hi, my name is Terry Ann Porter. I have been in IT for over 30 years. I have used the Zoom program to attend and lead various meetings for the past five years. I am here to tell you, I will show you how to use it. It is easier than you think, and yes, you can do it. The problem right now is that this is new and you haven't learned the process yet. That can be resolved with a tutorial. And guess what? I have one prepared for you. Because this is a video, you can easily pause to do the steps mentioned, hit play, move forward at your own pace. Are you willing to hear me out? Great, let's get started. First, the program is made to run on your computer, whether Mac or PC, on a tablet, even on your phone. You will need a microphone. System build-ins usually work. And if you wish, you will need a webcam. The webcam will allow you to be visible to other participants in the meeting. Now, you will receive a notice from the creator giving you some information. This information will include a web link which you will be able to click at the appropriate time. It will also give phone numbers which you may use to call in and once connected, enter the meeting number followed by the pound sign. Let me stop here for just a minute. If you have not used the Zoom program before, you will be asked to download a small program when you click the link. This won't take long and it is safe. Because of this, I recommend you do this before the meeting so that you may have it complete and you're able to attend on time. You don't want to be late. You are now in the meeting. Unless the presenter has shared their screen, you will see something like this. Look for the menu bar. For PCs, it's probably on the bottom. For Macs, it might be on the top. On the left of the menu bar, you will see a picture of a microphone and the word mute underneath it. If you click on mute, a red line will draw through the mic icon. You are now muted. No one can hear you. There is an up arrow next to the icon. If you click on it, a menu will appear allowing you to select microphone and speaker options. As a side note here, some people will use the computer for the visual and will also call in on their phone and use that for their mic. Next to the microphone icon is a video icon. Just like the microphone, you can start and stop your video. Now this refers to the video feed from your webcam. Next to it, just like the microphone, there is an up arrow which will allow you to choose your, cam your camera and settings. Let the meeting begin. What do you see on your screen? You will see thumbnails of all the people on the call. If someone did not turn on their camera, then you will see their name displayed. Some will have a picture. That is because they have created this in their account settings. If you don't have one right now, don't worry about it. We just need to get started. If someone has called in on a phone, their phone number will often display. Having all the images on display is called gallery view. You can change this to speaker view, which will show the image of whoever is speaking instead of everyone else. If the speaker, excuse me, if the presenter shares their screen, meaning they're showing you a PowerPoint or some other files on their computer, then that will fill the screen and your thumbnails of people will move to the side. If for any reason you need to leave or the meeting is over, simply click on the words, leave meeting. Ignore the fact that right now the display says end meeting. That's because I am the host and I get to end the meeting. But click here and you have left. You have now successfully entered, participated in, and left a Zoom meeting. 
Now, it wasn't as bad or scary as you thought it would be, huh? This was just the basics. I'll show you some more stuff in other videos. Right now, congratulations.